top of the first. Barry Bonds, man on second, looking. Starting a long string of outs for the Giants. Richard Reilly in the second. Five straight outs. Top of the third, Bobby Estelea. Swing and five strikeouts no. through three for Lauder. Levon Hernandez, however, matching him zero for zero. In the bottom of the fifth, Derek Bell, a high fly ball deep to left field. But there's Bonds in his golden glove on the track. Keeping it scoreless, top of the seventh. Still goose eggs about. Lighter against Bonds again. One two pitch. Swing in. Lighter retired 19 straight at one point. Bottom of the eighth, still scoreless. Robin Ventura in a deep slump. No more. Lines this one to the gap. Calvin Murray collecting, slipping. Edgardo Alfonso scores. And Ventura winds up with a double, which score later on a Mike Bordick single. So it's 2 nothing, two outs. John Franco wrapping it up for Al Leiter and the New York Mets. Armando Benitez had saved the two previous. Jones. Fly ball. A little looper right to center. left center, right center. Here comes Tom Goodwin. Oh. Looking like Andrew Jones. Top five, still one nothing Braves. Goodwin. And it's take it away. And then give it. Todd Hundley scores. Alex Cora coming plate where he's saved. 2 1 Dodgers. Still 2 1 in the sixth. Gary Sheffield gone. Got that ball up, and that means Sheffield drives into center. Off Andy Ashby is 37-3-1 Dodgers. Bottom seven, 5-1 Dodgers. Chipper Jones, a little flair. Sheffield. Dodgers win this one by the count of 7-2. So the Dodgers avoid the sweep thanks to Darren Dreyford, who is top of the second. Bases full of Yankees. Full count on Scott Brocious. Ramon Ortiz coming off that complete game win over Pedro. Walks Brocious to walk in a run. Jose Vizcaino makes it 1-0 Yankees. Now, before the third inning, Joe Torre sees something with Ortiz's delivery, discusses it with first base ump Eric Cooper, and was getting on him all throughout the first few innings. And with bases loaded in the fourth inning, Ortiz from the windup wipes his face. No. That's a balk. He was still on the rubber. And guess who calls the balk? First base umpire Eric Cooper. Now, we don't know if it was very obvious. Who knows if Torrey had something to do with it, but we just thought we'd show you that all developed. As for Roger Clemens, he gets Troy Gloss looking to end the inning, and Clemens wins his sixth straight decision. Now 10 and 6 on the season, six and two third innings pitch for it. Cap was back at it Sunday night against the Red Sox, but we picked things up with another hot hitter, Noma Garcia Parra. The base is full of Red Sox. Base hit off of Kenny Rogers against whom he's now 15 for 29 lifetime. Two runs come in. No more batting 384 after his two hit night. Bottom of the six, two out. Gate Kaplan comes to the plate. 0 for 1 with a sacrifice. So he needs a hit to go to 26 straight games. And against Tomo Oka, he gets that hit. He's now hitting 375 during his 26 game hitting streak. Bottom of the six, base is full of Rangers. Rich Garces El Wapo. Gets Mike Lamb the pop up. Ed Sprague ranging deep into the dugout. Oh, come on, guys. Somebody help him out. Izzy Alcantara, a factor for the Red Sox. 4 2. Facing Brian Anderson and Giles wins the battle of the Bryans. Two run homer, 26th of the season. 2 0 Pirates. Top of the third, Jay Bell facing Jim Anderson with a runner on. And Bell, base hit. Tony Womack, former Pirate, come on down. We're tied at two. Bell was two for four. Two runs scored and a run batted in. The one you're watching right now. Top of the fifth, Diamondbacks down six for Greg Colbrin with a runner on. And Colbrin got it. We're now tied at six off of Bronson Arojo. Eighth homer of the season. We're all tied. In the top of the sixth, here comes Luis Gonzalez. Facing a row with a runner on. This one, the yard holds it, but Jay Bell, former Pirate, scores. The tie-breaking run, and the Diamondbacks win 7-6. Prior to this season, no... 17 teams have scored more runs than Cincinnati, and 15 teams have hit more home runs. But the Reds are the only team in baseball that hasn't been shut out this season. In fact, the last time Cincinnati was blanked was that one-game regular season playoff game with the Mets last year. The Reds concluded their stay in Chicago Sunday night. Here on ESPN, wind blowing out. Bottom three, Reds up one nothing. Eric Young into the jet stream, and Junior is on his horse. Makes the grab, making it look easy. Top four, Sean Casey against Ruben Caveda. And Fuego. El Rojo Vivo. Reds up 2-0, Casey's ninth home run on the year. Still in the fourth, Pokey Reese. 
A little shot. Who says Sammy Sosa can't feel? Reese cannot believe it. Reese cannot believe it. That is disbelief. Bottom eight, Cubs down 3-0, two men aboard. Steve Paris walks Sosa, loads the bases. Paris would leave the game. Two outs, Scott Sullivan, the whiff on Rondell White. Paris's reaction to the strikeout, yeah, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Three nothing. The final. The Reds have posted back-to-back -back shutouts at Wrigley for the first time since 1941, which means Johnny Vandermeer had to be involved in one of those shutouts. Sean Casey three for three. He's 13 for 24 in his last six games. Cincinnati has won four straight and five of six. Two Milwaukee. The Brewers in cards and Carlos Fernandez with some sandcastle skills. Mike Matheny. Back through the box, Jim Edmonds comes in to score, tying it at four in the fifth. Next batter is Placido Polanco. Back through the box, off Ron Billiard's glove, Ray Langford scores. Cards now lead 5-4. Pat Hankin pitching well for the Cards, bottom six, St. Louis up 6-4. And Billiard is just looking. Hankin had seven Ks. Hankin's reaction to the punch out, yeah. Bottom nine, Brewers down two. Two minute board, two outs. Dave Veers facing Raul Casanova. Little dribbler. St. Louis picks up the victory by the final of six to four. J.D. Drew had four hits. A's, Tigers, Juan Encarnacion gone. Juan Encarnacion goes off down Barry Zito. Encarnacion's 11th on the year. Had a couple of days off. And look well rested. Five nothing Tigers. That's Encarnacion. Two men aboard for Ben Grieve against Brian Muller. Sal Fasano will score in the bottom of the sixth. Ball is thrown to second. Randy Blardy tries to score. Davy Cruz fires Brad Osmus and Blardy's nailed. Five three Detroit. Now bottom seven. Muller is facing Fasano. Lines one to center. Encarnacion. Oh. Still five three Detroit. Now bottom nine. Todd Jones facing Velarde. Jose Macias at third, the second to first at 5 4 3 double play. Jones gets his 33rd. Two, Omar Vizquel lays down the bunt. Carlos Guillen comes up throwing. Second error of the game for Guillen, fourth error of the game for the M's. Later in the inning, Vizquel now at third after a wild pitch. Freddy Garcia box Vizquel in. Mariners give away a run. Indian stake to a 4 2 lead. After Jim Tomey walks, Will Cordero up with two-minute board. Cordero to left center, gets past Ricky Henderson. Roberto Alomar comes across. Tomey scores from first. Two-run double for Cordero. Indians up 6-2. to two. two outs in the inning, Bill Selby. Mark McLemore. John Olerud, who's never won a gold glove, makes the nice scoop. Ems finally got out of the inning, but it was costly. Three runs for Cleveland. Bases loaded, bottom seven, now eight four. Steve Carse brought in against John Olerud. On the right side, Robbie, Robbie Alomar gets his man. Carse gets out of the bases loaded jam. He would strike out the side in the eighth. Indian. Bagwell had a very good day. Top of the fourth, facing Omar Dahl. He busts out the whooping stick. Number 32 of the year, top of the eighth again. Homers again, 33rd home run, 6th RBI of the day. Bottom of the 8th, Tim Bogar robbing Pat Burrell, throwing from his knees. Oh Top of the ninth, Bagwell up, runner on 3rd. He could break his personal record for RBI and should do be shattered. He does just that. Career high, 7 ribs. Astros win 14-7, beating the Eagles. The Astros tied a club record with 6 homers, a club to prove it. Top nine, three, two Expos, two men aboard, Nephi Perez against Steve Klein. Vladimir Guerrero will try, can't make the grab. Ben Petrick and Juan Pierre score four, three Rockies. Next batter is Larry Walker. The wild pitch, Perez coming plate where Klein and Perez oh. get tangled up. Perez scores five, three Rockies. Look at it again, Perez's acrobatic play with Klein. And now Nephi is shaking up. Mm. Rockies pick up the victory by the count of five to three. Colorado has won three straight on the road for the first time this year. 10-1 Blue Jays. Carlos Delgado has just left the building. He's got 34 bombs on the year. Bottom seven, still 11 to one. Corey Koski at the plate. Mickey Morandini says we don't show any of his highlights. How about that, Mickey? <laughs>
Jays win this one 13 to 3. You can't teach hustle, Mickey. The 20 hits, a season high for the Jays. Every four top for the third, Jeff Abbott leading things off. He is pitching. That ball hit deep. It's deep, but it's playable. Although Abbott goes into his home run trot, guess what happened? The ball lands on top of the padding and just sits there. A ground rule double or a padding rule double. Here's Frank Thomas, no doubt, gone. 35th on the year, Chicago up 2-0 in the fourth. Bottom nine, White Sox up 3-2, John Flaherty facing Bobby Howery with two on and Flaherty looking to play the role of hero. And there's your ball game. Everybody knew it. Tampa Bay wins it in dramatic fashion by the final of five to three. The win allowed the Devil Rays to salvage the series finale. Albi Lopez has now pitched consecutive complete games.